from a natural number. That we already in standard, we have a one and lesson number one. Same again, number system. So before we start with the number system, first of all we have to understand the following term. So first is what is natural number? What is the meaning of natural number? Natural number starts from one. 1, 2, 3 and 3 noted means infinity are called natural number. It is denoted by n. In set form we can write in curly bracket 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3 dot. Uh, we can also represent in number line, rational number. After all, natural number then whole number. So if we add 0, if we add 0, if we add 0 to the natural number, we can say it is a whole number. In your text, first page, there is a one pack in which all natural numbers are there. So we can also draw like it. If there is a one pack in it, I have to put 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it is called pair of natural number. Now if I add in this way, this if I add 0, then, then it is called whole number. If I add 0, then you can say whole number. So, natural number is one of the pair that we have represented in number line. Now, when we add 0, it will be the whole number. But in MCQ and Max Persons or in GK base, smallest whole number is 0. So first is natural number, it is also infinite, you cannot count any number. Natural number is called infinite number, whole number. Again, if we add 0, then it cannot into whole number. Now, in teacher, collection of all the natural number, they are opposite. So collection of natural number, all natural number and they are opposite. So if I will take 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Opposite is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and infinity. And 0 is added to it. It is called integer. What again definition of integer is collection of all natural number where opposite and 0 is called integer. It is denoted by the z. What is the meaning of z? z actually meaning of z in German. We can say zelen means to count. That is why we are using symbol z. z. Again, it is also infinite many number. Integer is also infinite many number. We cannot count it. So in curly bracket, we have to write z is equal to 3 dot minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 3 dot and curly bracket over. Afterward, there is a rational number. E, P and Q are integers, let me say what? P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. It means numerator upon denominator, denominator is not equal to 0. Then the number which can be written in form of P upon Q is called rational number. Again, we define if P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0, then the number which can be written in form of P upon Q is called rational number. It is denoted by the Q. The word rational, from where it is? The word rational comes from the word ratio. In rational, there is a one term that is ratio. So, the word rational comes from the word ratio and the Q. And the Q comes from the word question. Therefore, we are using this symbol as a Q. Again, the word ratio comes from the word ratio and the Q comes from the word question. So, in curly bracket, we can write like that P upon Q, where Q not equal to 0, and P and Q are in the just P and Q are in the just. That we can write in the bracket. So, uh, first of all, again, to important of all that is last 
is important because whole natural number are included in the whole number whole whole number are included in the integers number you can see like that whole whole number are the under integers all integers are under the rational number so in subset definition we can say natural number is a subset of whole number whole number is a subset of integer that is z and integer is a subset of rational number that is q so uh, generally may be asked in exercise uh, first in first exercise already there is some question that every natural number is a whole number we can say yes integer integer is included in rational number now that is we can say yes so this will be subset of whole number whole number is subset of integer it is a subset of rational number but in opposite we can say no so means every rational number in this question every rational number is an integer we can say no every integer is a whole number we can say no every whole number is a natural number we can say no now we go further that is rational number but equivalent so in rational number we can go further one of the called equivalent rational number so 1 by 2 2 by 4 4 by 8 8 by 16 we can say is equivalent rational number another thing is that rational number is either terminating or non terminating recurring rational number is either terminating or non terminating so we can write 1 by 2 1 by 5 1 by 25 so these are all called terminating number by divide because if we divide it we can get answer in decimal so that is why that is why <coughs> we are using we can say that it is a terminating number why 1 by 3 if i write 1 by 3 then it is called terminating but recurring number non terminating either terminating or non terminating recurring terminating means end one of the best word is end whose number ends is that we can say terminating now 1 by 3 it is not possible that it has an end if you divide it, if you divide we can get answer so it should be continuous 3 3 3 continuous so we can say 0.3 bar so it is all terminating so again everything created up to the natural number whole number it is again rational number we can compute it in rational number in rational number we have to again when number which is not rational we can say irrational or the number which is not representation in number line we can say irrational number so in next video uh, so in the now next topic we want to continue that is irrational number and real number so rational is denoted by q and irrational number is again denoted by q bar so or we can say i rational number between even two distinct rational number but we know in the eighth standard that in number line we can say the infinite rational number between even rational number rational number between b1 to rs number means infinite rational number between two number so how we can find out so there are different way that is given in our textbook to i but now we have to discuss three example related here so first question is find find six rational number between between 3 and Four. What we have to do? Find six rational number between three and eight. four. So simple. Six plus one, seven. So what we have to do? Just we have to multiply both term by seven. So first of all, rational number should be in B upon Q form. Here Q is not, so we will write one. 
so 21 by 7 now 4 so 4 upon 1 multiplied by 7 that is 28 upon 7 so between 21 upon 21 upon 7 and 28 upon 7 there is always 6 number which is between it let me discuss that it's correct or not so 21 by 7 and we have to write 28 by 7 between it we have to write that is 22 by 7 23 by 7 24 by 7 25 by 7 26 by 7 and 27 by 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 number so that is the shortest way and easiest way which is not given in your text so again I repeat to find out any number find 6 rational number between 3 and 4 so 6 plus 1, 7 6 plus 1, 7 that is we have to multiply 7 numerator and denominator both then we can get is given so this is really the first sum now we can do the second sum also so in second sum if you will read how many terms are there 5 terms are there so we have to 5 ratio number between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 now again what I have said to you 5 is there so 5 plus 1 6 so what I have to do 3 by 5 multiplied by 6 both numerator and denominator and 4 by 5 multiplied by 6 so 18 upon 30 and 24 upon 30 now if we check between that is 18 upon 30 and 24 upon 30 there is a 5 number which is between it we can say 19 20 21 22 and 23 so we can easily find out this number now so that is a uh, one more example still now we can check further now in this you will see that denominators are not same in first example denominators are not given so we have to write one in second example, denominator are same. But in third example, denominator is not same. Then what we have to do? So first, if there is a denominator is different, then we have to find out first LCR. So if you will see that 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 3. So 5 and 3 LCM is 15. 5 into 3 LCM is 15 so what I have to do first of all I have to make denominator equal so 3 upon 5 both side I multiply 5 3 is I. so now question is convert into 9 upon 15 now 2 by 3 2 by 3 again I have to multiply LCM is 15 so 5. So 15 upon 5. Now again what I have to multiply here both side 3. So 9 by 15. Here 5. So 10 by 10 by 15. Now what we how many numbers we have to find out? 5. So 5 plus 1, 6. Always remember 5 plus 1, 6. So we have to multiply numerator and denominator we have to multiply numerator and denominator by 6 so you will see that 9 6 are 54 and 15 6 are 90 and our second number is 10 upon 15 10 upon 15 we have to again multiply by 6 that is 60 upon 90 how many number we have to find out? 5 number we have to find out. So between it, that is 54 upon 90 and 60 upon 90. Between it, 5 number which is between 54 and, so we can write 55, 56, 
So that is a oh, that is you have discussed three different examples that is in your exercise. Same type of sums are there that you have to replace. And rational number between given two distinct rational number. Again, we know that it has an infinite many rational number between two number. So in first example three and four, how many number six? Six plus one seven. In denominator there there is not given, so you have to take one. And multiply both sides. In second, quality phi is equal as a denominator. But in third example, phi and three they are not equal as a denominator. So what we have to plan first? Take LCM first of LCM and make denominator equal. Then what we have to do? Phi plus one six. Both sides multiply by six and we can get some. So that is the topic related to the rational number between given to rational number.